Note, posted on X by this little piggy. I live next to this old woman. And in exchange for borrowing some sugar or some trivial thing, she asked me to listen to a story and tell it to the world. The following story is unedited, and in her own words. As a young girl, I found myself wed to the nicest boy. I became pregnant soon after the wedding, but his family didn't seem to mind at all. They seemed to love me, to formally introduce me into the family. I was invited to my husband's annual family reunion. All introductions were met with smiles and hugs. Oh, save for his grandmother. She looked at me with some kind of knowing fear, almost like something bad would happen to me. She never spoke to me, though, so I simply went along and spoke with others there, not giving the old woman another thought. The following months were supposedly uneventful enough, until the day the power went out at around 8 p.m. I was alone in the house, so it was my duty to go check the breakers. I stepped into the basement with a trusty flashlight, but soon found I didn't need it. But something was there with me. It sought me out. This creature, if that is what it was, spoke to me. Will your husband die, or will you go back in time to relive your happy moments? Single quote. I thought this a trivial question, and replied with going back in time. I didn't wish for my husband to die. The part about the happy moments sounded pretty good as well. 2. Before I could blink, though, I suddenly found myself in the old park. It had been destroyed when I was 3. So I knew, I had been sent back. Without a way back to my own time, I was left to have my child and be a single mother. Time passed, and eventually I grew old and lived quite alone. It was a surprise to see that I had been invited to that year's family reunion, as I never got an invitation. But I was glad for it. The day of the reunion. I was just about the first person at the place. Everyone was coming up. My daughter, her husband, and then my newlywed grandson and his pregnant wife. She was being introduced to every person. One by one. And everybody loved her. I felt the pangs of D.E. acute J.A. vu, but thought nothing of it, until she was introduced to me. If only I could have noticed my look of fear as I gazed into my own eyes.